Hello, my wonderful, amazing artists. It's me, Miss Abby, your art teacher. And today, we are getting inspired by the Haitian-American artist, Jean-Michel Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat's name sounds very French. And that is because his family traces their origins back to Haiti. His family, his parents, are Haitian immigrants. Jean-Michel Basquiat made his art available to both people who would visit art galleries and people who were just walking by, passing through a train station. And a lot of his art was inspired by memories of his childhood. So I picked him out for our art class together for two reasons. The first reason is that he embraces the scribble dibble. A lot of his work is really awesome and powerful and interesting because he's using wild and crazy lines. And it must be really, it must have been very satisfying for him to create those lines. The second reason is that he uses a lot of symbols in his artwork. And one of the symbols he uses is the crown. And I think that's a great inspiration for making a wearable artwork. Let's get started. Today, we are creating a wearable work of art. And for that project, we need a piece of paper, some scissors. These are scissors for paper, not hair. They're not for hair, they're not for fabric, or anything like that. They are scissors for paper, and they are the right size for me. They fit right in my hand. We also need glue, like a squeeze bottle, a glue stick, or a roll of tape. Pencil, some drawing tools. The first thing you're going to do is take out your scissors your paper, and your pencil. We are going to cut this paper in half because this is too small to wrap around my head and it's too big. It doesn't really look like the Jean-Michel Basquiat crown yet, but let's cut it in half. And you can choose if you want to cut a straight line or if you want to sketch out a zigzag line and cut it in half using a zigzag line. I'm going to show you the zigzag line. Okay, so you can choose if you want to draw straight across or you can draw a zigzag. I'm going to draw a zigzag. And I'm using a pencil so that I can erase because it's easy to erase pencil, but it's not easy to undo if you're cutting. This is my guideline, so my scissors are going to follow this guideline. I used a zigzag, but you can use a wavy line if you want. That might be kind of cool. And I'm cutting very carefully. I have my cutting hand and my holding hand. Now I have two pieces, and I'm going to use both of them. I'm going to put some glue right here where they overlap. I'm going to use my glue stick. I'm going to spread some glue out. And remember, with glue, you want it to be like a butter, a layer of butter on toast, a thin, shiny layer. And to help this glue out and make this connection really strong, I'm going to rub it down, give it a little massage. And I'm going to do that and press it down for about 10 seconds. Ready? Okay, see, now the connection is nice and strong. Okay, now we have this long skinny thing that is going to be the starting point for our crown. And if we want, we can measure it, but we're not going to glue, we're going to keep it as a long skinny strip. And then we are going to add our decoration. I'm thinking I'm going to add some shapes to mine using my 
markers and maybe some crayons. But if you want to go in a different direction, you could add collage and gluing. Like, look what I found. Isn't this cool? Wrapper for a chocolate box. But I saved the wrapper because it was gold and shiny. Because I thought it would be a really fun thing to use. But either way, we're going to decorate our crown with shapes. Kind of like if it were full of gemstones and rubies and crystals. I think that would be very fun. Let's get started. Okay, I'm going to start with pencil first. That way I can erase. Now it's time to add some color. I'm using my oil pastels for my art kit first to do the lines. Then I'm using my watercolor pencils to fill everything in. I did all of my lines with my oil pastels. Now I'm going to color in with my watercolor pencils. Here's my crown all colored in, and I used oil pastels to make these lines. And I used watercolor pencils from our art kit to color everything in. And I embraced my Jean-Michel Basquiat scribble dibble side by giving it lots of lines and textures. And notice, this is a watercolor pencil. And as you can see, the, word, the letter W and a picture of a paintbrush. That means we can blend and smooth out these colors using a wet paintbrush. Let's give it a try. Okay, so I have my cup of water and my paper towel. And I have my brushes. The way we smooth out our paintbrushes is we dip our paintbrush in the water. I'm not touching the bottom, I'm not swirling around because then you can spill. I'm just touching and if it's a little drippy and I don't like that, I can uh, smooth it out on the paper towel. And then I'm just blending. I like to make circles with my paintbrush and it'll be really fun to see the colors mix and overlap. See how this blue and pink touching turns to purple. Oh, that's so fun. It's like a very bright, fun purple. And so I'm going to smooth out and blend everything in. So, if you added water to your watercolor pencils like I did. You might need to let it dry for a couple minutes till it's not wet and shiny. If you put it in the sun, it'll dry a little faster and let it dry just so it's not shiny and wet anyway. Okay, so I let it dry and notice the oil pastel was, is still shining through even though I brushed my watercolor pencil right over it. That is because oil, pastel, and watercolor don't mix. They kind of repel each other. They don't blend into each other. Isn't that cool? You can use that to make some amazing things, huh? So now that my crown is done, you can check the size and make sure it's not too big, not too small, you know. And then you're going to take your glue and do the same thing we did at the beginning of the project. Going to glue a little line and they're going to overlap a little bit. And remember, like butter on a piece of toast, a thin shiny layer, whether you're using a glue stick or a glue bottle. Well then, we're going to stick it together and remember, we're going to hold it in place without it wiggling around for 10 seconds. Ready? Ah, 
Okay, now it's done. It's a little bit small, but I kind of think it's cool. Ta-da! Here's my Jean-Michel Basquiat inspired crown. And I love it because it's a little different than a crown you would see maybe in a dress-up box or something like that. It looks handmade. Bye! Have fun making art!